I hope you got that. <laughs> yeah. That and what is going on with 2012? Kim, what's going on here, man? 2012 was a rad year. Silver NX Games on three wheels. We filmed Jim Cobb 5. I raced a few WRC events, Rally America, GRC. And it was the first year of working with HPI. So come over here. What's HPI? <laughs> HPI Racing, RC cars. That is a car from Jim Cobb 5. <laughs> Got a five right there on the side. So that was a, a rad year, my favorite Gymkhana video ever, and the start of a rad partnership with HBI. As you can see right here, we've got Gymkhana 6. Gymkhana 7. And then that's the car that I was racing the same year that we did Gymkhana 7. And now, HPI just brought out the uh, Gymkhana 8 car. So in Gymkhana 8 we have a reflective livery that we use down in Dubai. tried to mimic that with a kind of an iridescent type paint that's on this car. So super rad. And turbo fans, you know, tires that look like uh, my Toyos, and a body that's super accurate to the real car. You know, in, in HPI, this had other rad stuff for me, like this 2008 Focus RS that I actually had one of these cars. It was Europe only and Ford shipped one of these actual cars over for me to drive for a couple years. And then HPI gave me one of these. So that's an amazing little car. They made this as, you know, what they sold, but then they made this set up for me also with some of the tracks, just like my Raptor tracks. They also made me a set of spiked tires to go with it also. Hold on, I, if, I, if I may add, that's not just spiked, but that's an asymmetrical spiked gravel tire. So they've been very, very cool to work with. Also, there's, uh, you know, the micro version of that Fiesta RX-43 also which was very cool. And then also, because they make such a wide variety of stuff, a friend of Forrest's here made this red Bronco for us, which is very similar to my wife's uh, 74 Bronco. Yeah, so this is actually, it's an HPI crawler, so it's like a solid axle crawler, and then it's a third party that makes his body. So we had somebody local at uh, West Valley Hobbies in Salt Lake City that actually put that together for us, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna give that to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe she'll let my kids borrow it and drive that, but they'll probably get to drive that as much as I get to drive my wife's Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might be safer than your wife's Bronco, I'm not yeah, sure. It's way safer than my wife's real Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. We have a couple brand new Gymkhana 8 RC cars here. So we're gonna open up one of these so we can see what it looks like as, as a customer gets this. And we're gonna open that one up and I'm gonna sign it and we're gonna give it away, All right? Awesome. Let's do this. We gotta shoot this box. This box side is actually really cool. HPI has always done an amazing job with these boxes. They really are quite cool. Like there's actually different images of the car from different angles. Look, there's actually uh, in the sand in part of Dubai. 60 miles an hour. All right, let's open this <laughs> uh, right. This is where it gets fun too. You've got all these hop-ups. Right now it's got plastic knuckles, but you can get all these aluminum bits and chassis bracing and all that, all that cool stuff. And then tarmac tires and rally tires. I'm glad you just threw it out on part of the box. <laughs> <It> describes parts. <laughs> all right, what do we got, kid? Well, we have a controller, nicely wrapped up. Very nice. Got some extra stickers and uh, a manual. Of course, I won't look at that. Nope. First, we pull out the car so we can cut these. Are you excited right now, boys? I am so pumped. <laughs> I hope you let me drive this thing. <laughs> Brand new. And look at that beautiful body. The graphics are cool. The color shift is actually really. Really yeah. neat. Obviously, whatever they used to get that color shift to just how nicely detailed like every little bit is. 
on the body, you know, on the graphics and even this, these tiny graphics and how well they replicated that wing. They just do such a good job. Look at the gold on the on the Hoonigan because in that Dubai video, I actually have a gold-plated handbrake sleeve. So yeah, they did a really nice job with that. And by the way, the, we've probably never pointed this out anywhere, but falconry is such a big deal in Dubai that in that livery, this is falcon feathers like in this one part here, you know, here on this front stripe on the hood and back here on the wing. All right, Forrest, now it's your turn. Now you get to go in depth on, on what's going on here. All right, uh, HPI WR8 Flux. Flux means that it's brushless. Uh, that is a brushless motor. It runs um, on like a LiPo battery, so a lot of power, four wheel drive. There's actually a front, center, and rear differential. You can adjust ride height. Um, you can adjust all kinds of suspension settings and diff settings. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, these things are built super, super strong. That's a couple mil aluminum chassis, all countersunk. So like proper like race grade stuff, which is really cool to see. Um, I mean, these things are made to take a pounding, all, uh, all steel drive lines, steel um, gears and everything else. I would say my favorite part of this car, aside from the body, is, is probably that turbo fan. Yeah, no, and, and, and that's, that's what I see. <laughs> I see turbo fans. Like, <laughs> God, imagine the, the detail that went into making that. I love the detail even of the battery straps that have, you know, the, my old logo on it. Fit and finish on these things, the performance of them, really quite amazing. I want to take this thing out back and start playing. But before we do that, Let's open up this other one. So we're gonna give this one away. So HPI gave this one, let's, let's sign the outside first. All right, so we'll just uh, open up the plastic just enough here on the, on the front, so I can then sign it. All right, and that is prepped. So we can do that giveaway once this video comes out. Are right, you ready? We're gonna go drive this thing? Yeah, let's do this. So conveniently, we happen to have the real car here, still in the Gymkhana 8 livery. And look, you can actually really see to compare like the real car to the actual RC car. And you can see like, you know, even the pattern that I was talking about, you know, how it comes right off the race car, you know, with the Falcon wings and pattern right onto the RC car. And of course, turbo fans. So yeah, they did an insane I mean, job. Even like the roof scoop, just all those details. I mean, it's super rad to not only see my cars come to life in video games like Forza, but to see RC cars life come to life like this also. And with the liveries done so well, of course the reflective looks a little more tonal in the real car, or is this pops a bit more? But, man, super rad. So what should we do? The surface is actually really fun to play with. These aren't so slippery. It's a bit uncontrollable, but that's what's kind of fun too. What about we try some uh, reverse entry 180s? I am, I am so down. <laughs> I finally get right. to drive something. We got some good batteries in this. So this should be kind of quick. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. So slippery. What is this battery? <laughs> <laughs> it's got too much power for it in here. Ah! Ooh, ooh. Ah! What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope you got that. I got that. That's real. All right, that was, that was real. <laughs> 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 I was just waiting to say, I mean, with all the beautiful things in here, uh, there, there's definitely a little consequence. All of these beautiful cars, don't hit that one. It is fun in here. But I'm not that good. So we're fortunate that we actually have a really cool local RC community um, and a couple of friends from Maine that came through and they cut some amazing video. But first off, I'll let them introduce themselves. This is... Mike from West Valley Hobbies. Danny Z from Maine. Ryan from Maine. 
<laughs> All right, so on this video you're gonna see, we actually have these two guys driving and, uh, and Ryan doing a little filming. All right, roll the tape. All right, well that was rad, super rad. Uh, but I, I kind of want to do something more. What can we do? What if we jump that over that? I think that's a really dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> but of course we should do it uh, for us. <laughs> I like dumb ideas. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> will, will we make it? Will we hit the roof? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see if it looks like it's Hey, what do you think about that? I'm, I'm no engineer, but I've jumped a few things. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're missing something over here. What do you mean? <laughs> there's tons of room. <laughs> <laughs> there's room, but there's not a, a landing transition. See, that's probably like a 40 degree angle. So it's gonna go up like this, but there's nothing to land on. All right, Ken's going first. Let's give the controls to the least experienced RC guy. Yeah, yeah get on there, let's go. <laughs> we got a couple extra cars, right? You Big can... jump, KB, take one. <laughs> <laughs> I only went slightly off angle. <laughs> All right, take two. For hey, for the record, Ken said I could drive, but he, he keeps he, he keeps breaking the cars. <laughs> 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 uh, I was just trying to do a rock to pick. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, no. He's just gonna break it up. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Ready. That was a perfect landing! Why in the <laughs> Where did it land? On the hood. Nice. And it <laughs> drove right off. Yeah. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, third time's a try. <laughs>